Ever pondered the question, how does the global intertwine with the local in our everyday lives? To answer that, one must delve into the philosophies of globalization and localization and uncover their interplay. Globalization, an interconnected web of economies, cultures and societies, spans the globe. A concept that brings together nations, it promotes the exchange of goods, services and ideas on a grand scale. The philosophy behind this worldwide phenomenon argues for global cooperation, cultural exchange and economic growth. However, critics voice concerns about cultural homogenization, economic disparities and the erosion of local traditions. On the other side of the coin, localization tailors products and services to specific local markets, keeping cultural, linguistic and regional differences in mind. It's a philosophy that values diversity, uniqueness and nuance. It seeks to empower communities by aligning products and experiences with their specific needs and preferences. Advocates of localization champion decentralization, community engagement and sustainable development. They argue that embracing and preserving local identities contributes to a richer and more sustainable global landscape. However, the philosophy of localization also faces its share of criticism. Some argue that an overemphasis on localization can lead to parochialism, stifling innovation and economic growth. Some critics also point out that localization strategies may inadvertently reinforce existing inequalities within communities. In the unique socio-economic and cultural landscape of Nepal, one can see the tug of war between globalization and localization. While globalization has brought increased access to international markets, technology and cultural exchange, it has also raised concerns about potential cultural erosion and economic inequality. Localization, on the other hand, emphasizes preserving cultural heritage, languages and traditions, but it is not without its own set of challenges. In conclusion, both globalization and localization carry their own philosophies, benefits and drawbacks. Globalization promotes interconnectedness and economic growth, but it also raises concerns about cultural homogenization and economic inequality. Localization values cultural diversity and tailors solutions to local contexts, but it can also lead to parochialism and reinforce existing inequalities. In the end, the key lies in striking a balance between the global and the local, between interconnectedness and cultural diversity, and between economic growth and sustainable development. This delicate equilibrium allows for a richer and more sustainable global landscape, where both global reach and local relevance coexist and thrive. The intertwining of the global and the local is not just an abstract concept, but a reality that shapes our everyday lives, our societies, and our economies. Let's take a closer look at the latest map of Nepal. As we examine the contours and boundaries of this fascinating country, nestled in the heart of the Himalayas, we can see how the laws and territorial agreements of the country have shaped its current boundaries. The laws we see today are the result of treaties, negotiations, and sometimes conflicts, reflecting the country's rich history and its interactions with other countries. This is a perfect example of how law and geography are closely intertwined. As we can see in the case of Nepal, the dynamics of globalization and localization, which we discussed earlier, are not just about economic growth or cultural diversity, but also about territorial integrity and national sovereignty.